guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new today you're gonna see me tackle a huge project um it is a small pantry but you would be surprised how much a small pantry can pack especially if it hasn't been decluttered over how many years uh just a, a little clinger here i actually found food from 2004 um for some of you guys that don't know this is actually my mom's pantry so i had a little bit of fun decluttering it and doing a little bit of a DIY pantry makeover but I have to admit at some points I did feel sort of exhausted and I just kind of thought what in God's name did I actually take on like am I gonna be able to get this done in more than one day anyhow I took it step by step and actually got through it and uh, you guys are gonna see me take the shelves out and put liners on it and do all that fun stuff and just transform the pantry all together. So I got this shelf liner just actually at Walmart and I bought two of them which ended up being more than enough. Um, however, it wasn't going to be enough just for the three shelves but it ended up being more than enough uh, the two packages for all three shelves. So one pack probably wouldn't have cut it. Uh, I played around with some different methods and whatnot of actually how to wrap the, not just the, the top, not just the liner of, of the top of the shelf, but I actually played around with a few different methods to wrap it around so that you would see it like when you're, you're approaching the pantry. So I really wanted that part to show as well. I was born under the sun, so I'm so afraid of you. Made peace with all I've done, but that just wasn't enough. She's a reaction once or twice. Yes. So what you guys didn't see is me struggling to actually get these shelves back into the pantry. Oh my goodness. So it's because the liner happens to be just like even a millimeter thicker than what the the cabinets are or the shelves are actually cut for so anyways i struggled and struggled to finally get the shelves back in there they did so that is the difference that i will tell you guys with actually wrapping um the liner all the way around the shelf is that uh, you may have a little bit of a struggle trying to get the shelf right back in or you may even have to just um sand it down a bit so that it fits right back in but finally i did get it back in success so that's a win Everything that you'll see me use, I actually got just at our dollar, Dollarama, not Dollar Tree. So we do have a Dollar Tree here in Canada. Um, however, Dollarama is, I would say, probably our equivalent to Dollar Tree. Like it's super, super popular here in Canada. And I spent, I believe it was under $35 for everything that I got. The liners though, um, they were, I believe, $8.97. So that was an extra $16 that I spent. At Walmart. So, so far, this really is on a budget. So this this was the part where I, I have to admit the overwhelm completely set in when everything was emptied out and I, I put it I laid it all out like I still had to go through everything and go through expiry dates and I was just like oh my gosh what to actually do oh my lord anyways 
Um, I ended up throwing out almost three bags uh, full of like expired food, you know, things that had been there really long, things that whatever. So I ended up throwing out all the yucky, gross stuff and um, put the things that I did put back in. One thing you guys probably won't notice is I didn't have any fancy labels, so I just wanted to get the project done at this point. So I'm still probably going to play around with a few different systems to see exactly what I can come up with, but um, that's the one thing I didn't have is some fancy labels. Um, anyways, I had to switch around the cans, so the cans were on the shelf above here. And my mom was saying that basically she didn't want to have to bend down to, to be able to see the cans and the labels and whatnot. So I ended up switching the two shelves around that took a bit of time, um, but just so that the cans were at eye level. There's something about the way that you understand And finally here is the finished product. So this, um, I tried to organize it according to sort of like a system of what's being used most often. But anyways, uh, like I said, I'm going to play around with a couple of different techniques to see if this actually works. Um, but I, I like to see a little bit of space in a, in a pantry. Like I like to be able to see things nice and clean and clear. Um, but I also want the system to work for the household as well. The way that you say my name will know. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next. Thanks for watching. You say it's alright. Keep your space.